Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to discuss on the physical and chemical properties of the group 7 elements. Here are the two links you can refer on while studying this part of the topic. So I will attach this in the video description later. Physical properties of the group 7 elements. Here I have created a table for the whole group 7 elements from fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine. So let's focus on the physical state here. As you all know, fluorine is a gas, chlorine is a gas, bromine is, appears as liquid. Iodine can be solid liquid, so mostly it is a solid form. Finally, astatine is solid. So as you go down the group, the physical states gradually become solid. And as you can see, the color, as you start from fluorine, the color appearance is pale yellow but in some other video they show fluorine as colorless so it depends on the concentration then you have chlorine chlorine appears as greenish yellow so yes a tint of greenish in the yellow okay next is bromine bromine appears as brown iodine appears as purplish black and finally, astatine should be black. As you can see, the color gradually darkens as you go down the group from fluorine to astatine. Yes, uh, darkens. Next is the melting and boiling point. This is under physical properties. Yeah? So from fluorine to astatine, you can see that their melting and boiling point as you can see here is negative value gradually become more positive so I would say that the melting and boiling point as you go down the group gradually increases so I'll say increasing melting points and boiling point as you go down the group displacement of halogens if a stronger halogen is added to a compound containing a weaker halogen it will react with the compound and form new ones what I mean once is the new products yeah so this slides you have seen in my previous video so in conclusion I would like to emphasize that please remember from fluorine to astatine fluorine is the strongest astatine is the weakest so the stronger one usually will take over the weakest position okay Example 1. So I have prepared the reaction of fluorine with aqueous sodium chloride. So I have written the complete balance equation for this reaction. So F2 plus 2 NaCl to form 2 NaF and Cl2. So the reaction setup I have drawn here. Just an illustration. Fluorine gas is a pale yellow gas. It will be passed through into the aqueous sodium chloride solution. This is this should be a colorless solution. So after a while, what do you expect this solution will turn out? Will it be nothing happen or something new will change? So I've drawn the after the reaction happened, the observation for this reaction will be solution turns from colorless to yellow. So you have to describe the before and the after. So what happened here? As you can see, fluorine is above chlorine. And you know that fluorine is more reactive than chlorine. Therefore, fluorine will overtake the position of chlorine from sodium. And here it is. Fluorine is taking over the position with sodium. Taking the chlorine out. So, your observation here is based on the chlorine. So, this greenish yellow is what you have seen. This is been kicked out yeah chlorine has been kicked out from the sodium here i've prepared a drawing for the reaction of fluorine and aqueous sodium chloride fluorine appear to be diatomic covalent bond while sodium chloride supposed to be ionic bonding so i separated them 
in the ionic form plus and minus plus and minus two moles means two thing so to form two fluoride so sodium ion sodium ions fluoride fluoride and chlorine in the atomic form so if I drone here fluorine is more reactive so it will kick the chloride out of sodium chloride because chlorine is less reactive so fluorine can displace or kick out chlorine out of sodium chloride then fluorine will take over the position to form fluoride so it will be sodium fluoride and lastly the chlorine got kicked out and set second example I've prepared the reaction of chlorine with aqueous potassium iodide Cl2 plus 2Ki to form 2KCl plus I2 make sure the equation is balanced here I've written the appearance for these elements and compound chlorine gas is a greenish yellow gas potassium iodide is a colored solution to form potassium chloride potassium chloride is a colored solution and iodine is a purplish black solution so when you pass the chlorine gas into the potassium iodide solution so after a while the color will change from colorless to purplish black so this purplish black represents the iodine that has been kicked out from potassium iodide let's recall you have chlorine and iodine chlorine is more reactive than iodine so therefore chlorine can kick the iodide out of this compound and chlorine can overtake the position of iodide therefore your iodine will be kicked out for the observation for this reaction as you can see the color of the solution before was colorless then after a while it changed to purplish black this purplish black is from the iodine which has been displaced or kicked out from the potassium iodide yeah the iodide here got kicked out so here's the iodine solution if you were to wait for this test tube for several weeks or a month later the test tube will appear something like this okay your purplish black color will be somewhere bottom here because all of it has been accumulated at the bottom deposit because as you know this is actually this iodine is a solid so sooner or later it will become solid or it will solidify so this will be your iodine and on the top of this is your KCl solution potassium chloride solution so actually in this test tube there is potassium chloride and iodine solution mixed together here I have drawn the atomic form of the reaction chlorine is diatomic covalent bond potassium iodide is ionic bond so they don't stick together they just appear as ion with electrostatic force in between them potassium chloride is ionic bonding so same way also and lastly iodine diatomic covalent bond so I have drawn a short cartoon here chlorine is more reactive than iodine so chlorine can kick this iodine iodide out of this compound therefore chlorine can take over the position of iodine and yeah here's the iodine being set alone being kicked out so make sure you remember the reactivity of the halogen third example i have prepared the reaction of iodine with aqueous sodium chloride so here's the chemical equation but i haven't wrote the products yet but i let you think who is more reactive iodine or chlorine 
can iodine displace chlorine out of sodium chloride so i'll let you think so let's see the chart so iodine is here and chlorine is here so do you think iodine can overtake chloride chlorine out of sodium chloride okay let's see the answer so here's the reaction here's the experiment iodine solution drop into the aqueous NaCl NaCl is colorless so after a while okay no visible reaction the reason is the purple color still belongs to iodine all right the iodine that you have dropped here nothing new happened except the colorless solution NaCl contaminate with iodine only so there's no reaction here's the atomic diagram i've drawn here and the cartoon diagram i've drawn here iodine here is diatomic covalent bond sodium chloride is ionic bond so i draw it in the ion form electrostatic forces between them and here the cartoon form iodine is less reactive so it is unable or cannot displace kick out chlorine out of sodium chloride so you can see here chlorine is more stronger so it still can stay with sodium so therefore no reaction conclusion for this topic so first thing first you need to check who is more reactive the stronger halogen second question can the halogen kick the halogen can the halogen kick the other halogen out from its compound? If yes, you have to describe the observation. It has to be the before and the after. If nothing happened, if the halogen cannot kick the other halogen out, then therefore there's no visible reaction changes. That's all from me. Thank you.